Well, this time, egregious allegations have been made against a bar on Mill Avenue in Tempe. Varsity Tavern has closed its doors after state investigators say bar employees and managers were allowed or possibly forced to work after testing positive for the coronavirus. Let's get right out to Team 12's Bianca Bono, who is live outside Varsity Tavern with the disturbing details. Bianca. Hey guys, well, the doors are now locked here at Varsity Tavern in Tempe. According to the State Liquor Board, they have firsthand accounts and incriminating evidence proving that employees here, symptomatic employees, continued to come to work and serve customers. I talked to a Valley doctor who says if you've been here recently, you should get tested. Trouble in Tempe. Varsity Tavern, the busy bar along Mill Avenue, is now at the center of the coronavirus crisis. According to Arizona's Department of Liquor Licenses and Control, the bar is accused of a number of virus-related violations, a lack of social distancing, masks, and failing to limit large groups. But the most shocking? Management allegedly allowed and possibly required employees who tested positive for COVID-19 to continue working, some who were symptomatic. That is unacceptable. Valley doctor Andrew Carroll is deeply disturbed by the allegations. They're handing glasses and they're giving food and they're and they're interacting and shoulder to shoulder with one another. That's just that's a super spread event. And it's not the first time Varsity Tavern has been in hot water. In 2018, the bar's liquor license was suspended after employees served alcohol to an underage customer. And again last year when someone fell off the bar's second floor balcony. The liquor board's director is saying this time the department will move to revoke the bar's license. It's kind of sad if they knew that's not really a smart move for society as a whole. We're trying to get better with this, not make it worse. Tempe resident Ben Parquet says he was at the bar a week and a half ago. Dr. Carroll's advice for him and anyone else who was there recently. But anybody who's patronized that restaurant during the time that we know those people were sick really should be tested. They should be quarantined and isolated. And this bar voluntarily closed yesterday after getting that notice from the liquor board. I repeatedly tried to get in contact with the owners of this bar. I spoke briefly with the chef over the phone who told me they would get back to me, but they're no longer taking my calls. We're live in Tempe tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10.